So here's the scenario. Uh, you have a device that supports PoE, like our wireless access point, the AWK6222, but your existing switches in the field do not support PoE. So you're stuck with uh, two not very attractive options. One option is to disregard the PoE function entirely and just install this in the field with an external power supply. Not very attractive. It's a lot of trouble to connect power outdoors. Lots more wiring, just a headache. But you have a different headache if you replace all your switches in the field. The brand new switches that haven't been spec'd in require additional troubleshooting. So today I want to show you about the third option, it's very, very easy. You just install something called a PoE injector, the INJ24. This is something that's built into the PoE standard. Um, basically, it's a mid-span power sourcing equipment. It takes power from the power supply, and it takes data from your Ethernet switch, and combines them to create a PoE Ethernet port on the injector 24. So now when we connect our PoE device to the injector, it's as if we connected it to a PoE port on a PoE Ethernet switch. So you can see now our device has the LEDs, it's lit up, it's now receiving power. You didn't have to connect an external power supply. You didn't have to replace your switches. You just save yourself a ton of money, a ton of trouble, in the field. A couple of other nice features about the INJ24, we designed it so that it supports gigabit and fast ethernet without any configuration. It supports PoE Plus, so it can power up to 30 watts, devices that need up to 30 watts without configuration. So touch screens, 802.11n devices, uh, and it supports 24 volts and 48 volt power input, which is the most common type of power sources you're going to see in industrial settings. So this is available now, evaluation units you can order online. For our bigger projects, contact us directly or talk to one of our authorized distributors. Thanks for watching.